Thanks. And thanks again for joining me here at Good Things About Japan. Today, I want to show you one of my very favorite things about Japan. I've always been a big fan of Buddhism, as well as many other religious and spiritual practices, but Zen Buddhism is one that I have found to be most fascinating, and probably one of the best things that Japan has to offer you and the world. But I'm no master, and I can't teach you how to do it. But fortunately, I'm able to take you all the way to Ryosoku In in Kyoto where Zen Buddhist master Ito will give you personal instruction in Zen Buddhist meditation. Now, just to prepare, I'm sitting here comfortably just to show you how you would want to be to enter into the meditation. You want to find a nice, comfortable cushion, like so. Any thickness for your comfort. Uh, you can even fold it over once to prop yourself up as more prominently and more comfortably as you like. But the key here is to be as comfortable as possible. Zen Buddhist meditation is not about form, rather is it about function. And the function here at the beginning is to be of a restive mind and ready for a peaceful experience. So please, Prepare yourself to join me in Zen Buddhist meditation with Master Ito. I would like to begin by explaining sitting posture. Please straighten your back like this, but relax. Keep your whole body relaxed. And now, please Raise your right arm in front of you, like this. And relax. And try to have deep breathing now. Mm. Gradually, you may begin to feel the weight of your arm. You may notice slight tingling sensation. Also note the different sensations throughout your arm. Mm. Feel the blood flowing through your arm. With this realization, please return your arm to your side, slowly. Hmm. All right. So now, do the same with our left arms. Take time to isolate the different sensations Then reintroduce or reconnect all the sensation to feel your whole arm. Then return it. Right now, please sway slightly from side to side. Hmm. This helps us relax our posture to a natural center. Gradually slow your swing, but don't try to become perfectly stiff. Again, we want to find the natural center. Relax your eyelids. Do not close them completely, but allow light to filter through. We don't need to form the distinct images only notice the impressions of light and color. Hmm. Tension and stiffness can distract our mind. To break the distraction or tension, uh, we can receive a blow from this wooden stick or keisaku in order to receive this blow, please place your hands together in front of you. Then, when I arrive in front of you, we will bow to each other first and to properly receive 
this blow. Uh, lower yourself with your arm crossed around your shoulders. Then I will strike each shoulder twice. All right. So now we are ready. Please relax your breathing and let's begin.
So, how do you feel? Have you achieved enlightenment? It should comfort you to know that in Zen Buddhism, there is no ultimate enlightenment. In fact, Master Ito informs us that we should rejoice in the imperfections of life and its realities, because within those imperfections lie potentials for self-improvement. And to know that we can always improve ourselves keeps us in that state of mind that I believe to be indicative of the greatest things about Japan. Of course, with so many other experiences that were had, so many other lessons learned at Ryosoku Yin with Master Ito. But to enjoy the fullness of it, you'd have to come to Japan. And until then, bear this in mind. If you have, in this meditation, cleared your mind even a little bit so that you could transcend the mundane realities of life just enough to get a bird's eye view of your own mind and its thinking and its feeling and its perceiving, then you have achieved Buddhist meditation, at least Zen Buddhist meditation. Surely you have. So, congratulations. And I'll see you next time.